Félixième. Today, this more or less forgotten French painter was one of the most known and rated artists of the 19th century. It was fashionable to have his Yem work at home. Many have fought over his seascapes or his eastern paintings, which he fantasized on the shores of the Bear Pond, bringing forward many case studies. With a sharpened business instinct, the artist meets the expectations of the market. We love him for his classicism, his Venice, his Constantinople. He mass produces upon request for his collectioners or famous merchants. He respects the Academy's rules and obtains recognition at the exhibition fair. Before his death, he organizes donations to various museums in order to guarantee his posterity. He is the only artist to this day to have entered the Louvre during his life. Thanks to the leg Chauchat, everything suggests that he had a winning strategy. At the time, this socialite entertains guests at Parisians' dinners. He sparkles by his exuberance, his whimsical character, and with his anecdotes about his trips. He socializes with Théophile Gautier, the Goncourt brothers, he answers to state commissions. Van Gogh admires him. He pleases the rich. The Duke of Orléans, the Gagarin family, the Chalroux family. These encounters become an opportunity to travel all around Europe to give drawing courses to the children of his collectors. Yet it is to satisfy his own curiosity that he begins in 1841, in Italy, his grand journey. He will then go to Russia, Holland, Naples, Constantinople, everywhere. Is for Orientalist artist a more pragmatic character? Ziem leaves to confront the patterns, the light, the elements studied on the engravings of pictures that he collects. For months, so far away and thanks to this opening on other civilizations, he works on personal and professional memories. On his sketchbooks, he can no longer hide anything. Gone is the secretive man with hang-ups. He reveals himself through his passions. Venice, or the freedom that he grants himself with the artistic codes? What a vision. The capacity to enter a moment, an emotion. How modern. It speaks for itself. We embark on his trip. The traveling bloggers of Instagram haven't invented these customs. What if the possible posterity of Félix Yem was there in his secretive atelier work?